In a previous video, I've shown you how to test your spreadsheet using formulas in Excel. And that's a fine way to test spreadsheets, there's nothing wrong with it. However, in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way of testing, using Xpector, an Excel plugin that we have developed here at Delft University of Technology. So this is where we left it off at the previous video. We made a number of tests and an additional worksheet in which we add overarching tests. Tests that combine all other tests. But this is a role that Xpector is going to fill for us now. So we don't need this additional worksheet anymore. You can just delete it from your example spreadsheet. We delete this as well because these two are overarching test formulas, not individual tests. And these can go as well. And if you have a keen eye, you have already seen that I have an additional something on my ribbon here called Xpector. And if you install Xpector, you will have this extra ribbon tab as well. And if we click it, you see all the options that Xpector provides us. And let's start with the first one, find existing tests in this spreadsheet. If you click that button, Xpector is going to look for what in the spreadsheet looks like a test. So something that is a sum of a range doesn't look like a test, but something that is, hey, if a1 is bigger than 100, then error, that looks like a test. And Xpector scans the entire spreadsheet and shows you these type of formulas. Let's see how that looks like. Here is the output you get if you hit find tests. And the first one, for example, says G4 looks like a test and it expresses that C4 should, be be should not be below zero, otherwise you get an error. If you click save, Xpector adds an additional worksheet for you and a list of all the tests in them. Again, here we see C4 should not be below zero, otherwise something is wrong. And in addition to the test, you also get a link back to the origin of the test that helps you navigate from the overall testing worksheet to the origin of the test. So in a sense, we are now in the same situation as we were in the beginning of this video. We have a number of tests and we have a worksheet that collects all the tests for us. However, this worksheet has been auto-generated. And that allows us to run the test. And this is something we couldn't do, do before. So if we click run all tests, Xpector looks at all the tests one by one and says, well, these are all okay, they are, they are passed, but these are failed tests. And and if you look at them, indeed you see here, this E11 is below zero. A test has failed there. And if you're more of a visual type of person, then you can also color the test. So you, you don't look at the list, you can immediately say, hey, the green ones are fine, and the red ones, meh, something is up here. So you, Xpector helps you to find the tests that are okay, and to find the tests that still need attention in a similar way as we had the old checks worksheet before. But Xpector can do more. Xpector can not just help you understand how your spreadsheet is doing now, it can also help you to add more security, add more locks, add more tests to your spreadsheet. That is all happening in the second column. We can ask Xpector, how are we doing? And it says, well, 27% of your entire spreadsheet is now tested. And here again, we can get this feedback in a visual way. All the tests and all the cells that the tests use are made yellow. So you can see this area of my spreadsheet is entirely covered by tests. And if we do that again in this worksheet, we see there's a gap. These cells are not being tested yet. And the first one, the name, that's not bad, that's just a string. But this one here is a VLOOKUP function. And we know, of course, from a few weeks back that such a VLOOKUP function can, end, can result in errors. So this is something we might want to test. And this happens in the third column of the Xpector functionality. Here we can get assistance from Xpector to add new tests to the worksheets. So for instance, if we, if we click this first button, give us a complex formula. Well, this VLOOKUP is a complex formula, and if you want to add tests, you get a number of options. You can, for instance, define what type it needs to be. Well, this name, it needs to be text. We know that. If there's not text there, something is up. Thank you, says Xpector. You have increased the coverage of your spreadsheet from 27 to 28%. You have covered more. And here you see in the Xpector worksheet, 
indeed a new test is added and this bench, this B4, is now tested. There are two other options you can use in Xpector. It can also detect large valued cells. For instance, this one, this 999 there. That's a high value. That, that might be something that you want to add a test for. For example, you don't want to have sold zero items or maybe below zero. A third option you have is you can look for formulas with a lot of precedence, a lot of cells that they refer to. These are also cells that you might want to test because they are the culmination of an entire formula chain. And the reason I have not been added tests to these cells is that you have to think about these specific tests, these high values and these formulas with a lot of precedence. How would you test them? That is one of this week's exercises. So good luck with that. Think about how to add coverage, increase the stability and the safety of this spreadsheet. So that's all I wanted to show. If you use Xpector, which you can download from our website, felina.com slash Xpector, you get more safety in your spreadsheet. And what is also nice for us, if you try Xpector, let us know what you think. Is it useful? Is it helping you? And that way we can make our spreadsheet research even stronger. See you next week.